John MacArthur, uh, this great man of God, pastor of Grace Community Church, is under attack. Uh, his church is in uh, California and um, uh, the Los Angeles area, Grace Community Church, Los Angeles, California. And uh, Governor Newsom is the governor of California. And they have come against John MacArthur hard. John MacArthur has committed uh, Tom, a tremendous crime. And this is why I'm asking you to pray for John MacArthur. Uh, the crime was not that they caught him with a live girl nor a dead boy. But John MacArthur's crime is he's opened his church. They're having service at his church. And the governor of California is bound and determined to shut the church down. Gavin Newsom has the devil in him. Yes, he's got the devil in him. You, can, you know what you can do in California? You can protest. You can have as many. Maybe John MacArthur need to rename what they do and call it a religious protest service. And, and nobody will bother you. Isn't it amazing how uh, part of our First Amendment rights during COVID-19 has been upheld and championed by the enemies of Christ, and that is the right of the peace people to peacefully protest. Now, uh, you know, because peaceful protesting have taken on a whole different definition. It used, peaceful used to, used to mean you say what you want, but you harm no one else. You don't harm their property. You don't uh, uh, violate uh, their uh, the space. You don't just invade their property. You don't invade their yard. You don't walk up to them while they are trying to eat and get in their face or take their beverage and just drink it. And I, I pray to God. I pray to God. I pray to God. I pray to God every day that, that no one roll up on me and do that. I, my, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being very serious. I don't think, pray for me. I don't think my temperament would allow that. Because I know I'm not going to do that to anybody. And uh, I'm praying that God have me in such a place that if Pam and I are sitting down eating. We ain't bothering. We're not bothering anyone. We're eating. We're enjoying them briskets from Prime, and we're not bothering anybody. I, I just don't. I, I just. I, I just don't think it's a good idea for someone to just come up to me and start shouting in my face and tell me unless I lift my fist and say Black Lives Matter or unless, unless I shout the name George Floyd, they're gonna keep arguing and and just gonna stand over me like that. My son-in-law said, gee, I think I better call the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I need all, I need all of them. I need deity. I need the Godhead because that's not protected in the Constitution. And, uh, and, and, in, and in states where there's strong leadership, those things aren't happening. But back to John MacArthur. Uh, well, I, I, they're protecting that right to peacefully protest, but how are you going to protect that and at the same time the other First Amendment right, freedom of religion, close churches? Now, both are express First Amendment rights. No, neither are implied. It's not implied right for us to practice our religion. It is an express right. That was my problem with our governor when he shut us down. That's why we went three weeks longer than everybody else until they planned a raid to come and get me. And the Holy Spirit said, now you better, get, you better go and shut it down until I, I, I tell you different. Uh, it's our First Amendment right. Did you ever believe in America that they would be, you can go to jail? God bless the Neelys. That you can go to jail for having church. And they are, they are threatening to lock uh, MacArthur up. They are threatening him with egregious fines. Um, uh, and he has regrettably found very little support from the 
evangelical community in his endeavor to stand against the will of man to please God. Oh, oh God, where are the churches? Where are the leaders? I'll tell you where they are. Where they are? They're home. They're home. They're home. And there's one man and hopefully a few other churches. Uh, and, and, and I'll be honest with you, since my audience is uh, mainly of color, I hope some black churches are involved in the fight. I hope they're involved in the fight to defend our First Amendment rights. I hope that they are.